Hello everyone, this is chapter 4, Basic Estimation Techniques. We will study basic estimation techniques because managerial decision making is really really related to mathematical relationship between economic variables. So what is the mathematical relationship between different economic variables? For instance, when we have demand function, what are the determinants of the demand for the product I have? Production function, how much capital, how many units of capital or number of workers I should use to produce certain amount of output and also cost functions. If I increase my output, how will my costs be affected? So these are the learning objectives for this chapter. So we will learn about setting up and interpreting simple linear regression equations, estimate intercept and slope parameters determine statistical significance so this is basically a, a review of the concepts in the regression analysis this chapter we will study both linear regression and nonlinear models okay let's get started with part one so managerial decision makings we said it is 100% related to mathematical studying mathematical relationships between economic variables so here is an example of a cost function okay c is the total cost of production uh, measured in dollars q is the units of output so units of output i'm producing right 500 let's say uh, vehicles i have an electric vehicle company right and the total cost is measured in dollars this is a mathematical relationship between the quantity produced units of output and the total cost of production so we call a b c and d uh, we call them parameters these are constant numbers we are trying to estimate to reveal the relationship between the quantity of output units of output and total cost so imagine that right the parameters are as follows a is 1262 b is 1 C is negative 0.03 and D is 0.005, okay? So imagine that these are true values, okay? And these are holy objects, all right? So it's really, it's impossible to know, right? These are the true values. We'll learn how to estimate these, A hat, B hat, C hat, D hat, but more on that, uh, we'll see more on that later on. Okay, so if we know that the true relationship is this, right, you can rewrite this equation whenever you see A, you plug in 1262, B1, all these values. And then let's say at quantity 30, I'm producing 30 of these vehicles, right? You plug in 30 in place of Q. If you make this calculation, you can pause your video and grab your calculators and calculate this value stop it right now pause it okay now you should be back if you haven't done that so if you haven't calculated it please go back okay if you have stay with me all right so if you plug in the number 30 in place of q's you will get this fourteen hundred dollars let's say this is measured in millions okay so the cost of producing 30 units is going to be $1,400. Okay, let's say this is not vehicles, but more like, um, let's say, cakes. You have a bakery, okay? So cost of baking 30 cakes, really elaborate cakes, is going to be $1,400. So let's talk about basic estimation. Basic estimation has parameters. These are the A, B, C, D in our case. The coefficients in an equation that determine the exact mathematical relation among the variables. So knowing A, B, C and D values, we were able to determine the relationship, mathematical relationship to bake 30 cakes. That's going to cost you total $1,400. Okay. Parameter estimation is a process of finding estimates of the numerical values of the parameters of an equation. So estimate parameter estimates will be we are going to name them a hat this is a little hat okay b hat c hat d hat we are going to find these estimates all right these are true values these are holy objects we can't really know but the estimates we can find estimates using statistical techniques we will 
conduct parameter estimation procedures such as regression, ordinary least squares regression to find these estimates. Okay, which brings us to regression analysis. Regression analysis is a statistical technique for estimating the parameters of an equation and testing for statistical meaningfulness, statistical significance. Dependent variable. Dependent variable is a variable whose variation is to be explained. Explanatory or independent variables, variables that are taught to cause dependent variable to take on different values. Example folks, so an equation, right? I'm looking at uh, determinants of sales of a company, I, okay? A plus B, advertising, advertising, spending. Spending. Okay, so in this case, folks, we are looking at the impact of advertising spending on the sales of the company. How much sales you make? This is an A, not a Q. All right, so in this case, this is an independent, independent variable that is doing the explaining, where sales is going to be the dependent variable, variable whose variation is to be explained by the set of independent variables, or in this case, it's just one independent variable. Explanatory, explanatory, or independent variable in this case is advertising spending. Variables that are thought to cause the dependent variable to take on different values. Okay, so again, simple linear regression model in general can be written like this. We are looking for this holy object, right? true regression line, right? This relates dependent variable y, just like your sales, to one of the explanatory variables x. So here's my dependent variable. We are trying to explain the variation in. And this is my independent variable or explanatory variable, okay? Intercept parameter. So we call this a as an intercept intercept parameter gives the value of y where regression line crosses the y-axis what do you mean dr g let's draw this okay we're looking at the relationship between y and x so x is zero here's my origin if x is zero plug in zero here right this will cancel out this term will cancel out so you have a y is going to be equal to a so let's assume a is a positive value so this is your intercept okay so what's the slope of this line slope of this line regression line will be okay so your slope will be the coefficient b will be the slope so this is a line like this i'm assuming again positive uh slope positive b value b positive is the slope okay i assume positive slope I also assume positive a value intercept so this is your equation a plus bx there's a positive relationship x increases your advertising spending increases your sales are going to go up in dollar value that's basically what we're trying to figure out what's the relationship right slope parameter b gives the change in y associated with one unit change in x this is exactly your origin this is exactly the definition of slope, right? Change in y divided by change in x, right? So when you do this, you're going to find the change in y associated with one unit of change in x. If I spend one more dollar on ad spending, ad, what will be the change in my sales, right? If I'm spending one dollar getting five dollar worth of sales, that's excellent actually. I want to know as a manager. Okay, so beta or B, we usually in uh, econometrics and statistics use beta, but in this case we're using A and B. I'm going to keep it consistent, right? B is going to be equal to delta, delta Y over delta X. That's the slope. Okay, so I'll see you in part two.